Right, so this is an updated video by Tammy Hornet here. Thought I'd do a updated video on uh, the mods that I did for this buggy recently. And um, everything else is pretty much the same. I've um, just detailed a um, bit of the paint on the body here. Um, that's about it, really. Um, we'll just go around the car and have a look at the mods that I've done. Right, first up, um, <clears throat> I'll just show you around the back. I did do a suspension upgrade on this buggy. Um, I'll remove the cover, that way you can see a lot better. But as you can see, I've put some thicker shocks on the back here. Um, this actually helps. Um, I'll explain that in a few seconds or a few minutes um, and just show you how to do it. Well basically the, the shock absorber itself is the same. Um, all I did was put a thicker uh, spring, tension spring in there simply because that with the Hornet uh, these shocks, the original ones, they actually just sit there when you press. They don't actually retract as good as uh, these ones do. As you can see, these ones come up nicely. And that's basically what I needed um, to get that stability. Because um, <clears throat> with the Hornet, because you have those shafts on the side, the, the whole back wobbles too much. Uh, these shocks help prevent that uh, wobbling now I'm going to show you the difference with these shocks I've inserted and the original shocks. Alright, so these are the original Tamiya shocks that come with the buggy. And what I, I'll just show you how the tension are on these ones. As you can see there, they're not that great because you can actually squeeze them pretty easily. But these ones... Not so much. They're actually more thicker. Now, so if I can try and hang on, turn the light on there. Yep. Uh, I don't know if you can see the depth, thickness of this one and that one very clearly, but you can actually see these shocks are thinner. I mean, thinner is the rings that go around here, around the shocks. These are more thicker, and the opening, like the the diameter of this. On these ones are actually slightly bigger than these but they still fit nicely as you can see uh, they tuck in really good and these shocks are really good upgrade especially if you want to uh, do some jumps they work really well and they don't get stuck like the original ones where you press and it just sit there now these ones actually come up they come up nicely as you can see they work really well so that's my suspension rear upgrade that I've done, which is a very good uh, upgrade. I recommend that um, upgrade to anyone that has a Tamiya Hornet. They're pretty easy to buy. You can get them at any hobby shop. Um, just ask for a slightly um, thicker one than the current one you're using for the Tamiya Hornet. Right, next up, underneath is, well actually, before I do that, I'll just show you, and you can see that screw under there. As you can see, there's a screw with a bolt. Now, I did this mod. This particular mod that I did is to hold the actual battery tray, which is underneath. Um, now, I'm going to flip it over, and I'll show you. Now, what you're looking at is the... I actually uh, made this myself. Um, but you can use anything that you find around which is big enough to actually hold that tray in place um, and all you need is a screw that can fit into that particular thing that you're going to use. You can use, you can even use metal I just use plastic because it's, um, it's a lot easier to work with um, than metal it saves you from drilling and uh, yeah and that's a good mod I recommend that to um, anyone that has a Hornet um, prevents the battery tray from falling off when you do jumps or driving very fast <laughs> like I do 
um, especially when you got the sports tune in there. Um, yeah, so I still yet to do the front shocks. Um, probably just leave them for now. They're pretty good. They serve me all right. It's just basically the rear was the one that was needed the most. Um, and also, I'm thinking about doing the wheels yellow. Um, tell me what you think after the end of the video. Either do the wheels yellow or these side protectors. Either do them yellow. Tell me what you think and uh, see how we go. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye for now.